University City is a major employment hub, but the neighborhood has nowhere near enough housing to accommodate its workforce, meaning most people who work there have to commute long distances. The University Community Plan update envisions more dense apartment buildings, some of the densest housing outside of downtown, especially around the neighborhood's six trolley stations. UCSD student Leanna Cortez says that's more sustainable and inclusive than the status quo. We have the UC San Diego Blue Line now connected in University City, which I feel like has been a great investment. And so I think this plan really capitalizes on that by having development oriented near those options, which from a student perspective and just like a young professional um, University City perspective, I think it allows a lot of people that have been priced out um, of University City to potentially like come back. The draft zoning plan still restricts most of the south of the neighborhood to single-family homes. That was a concession to homeowners who fiercely opposed a proposal to allow townhomes in the area. The city is proposing to allow apartment buildings up to 100 feet in two areas of Southern University City. The volunteer group Help Save UC had hoped for stricter regulations on density, height, and parking. The group told KPBS in a statement, quote, Help Save UC is disappointed that the city appears to have rejected all of our proposals after several years of engagement despite claiming to desire community input. Cortez says many UCSD students were excluded from the planning process. We try to humanize uh, the struggle of students as well. Um, oh, oh my God. And shouted down and dismissed at community meetings that were dominated by homeowners. The public has until April 29th to comment on the draft University Community Plan update. You can find it at planuniversity.org. Andrew Bowen, KPBS News.